Hey everyone, it's Keith, and today we're looking at Gravity Ghost. This is a new indie game on PC platforms, I believe. It's a, it's from uh, Ivy Games, and it's no, a few no, little noteworthy things here. Is we got the uh, music composer from FTL, Faster Than Light, and we have Ashley Birch from uh, Hey Ash, What You Playing, and Borderlands 2 fame, and the voice acting cast, along with Logan, uh, Logan Cunningham, who is the uh, voice actor... That does 90% of the voice work in Bastion and Transistor by uh, Supergiant Games, I believe is the name. So I'm just kind of going in blind here, because this was a surprise. Okay, so I'm, I don't know a lot about this game because I, I frankly found out about it about four minutes before I started playing when I got the surprise email. But I know it's a gravity platformer, a gravity oriented platformer. Here we go, right off the bat with a nice orbit. So, it's a gravity oriented puzzle platformer, I believe. Without, and doesn't necessarily have uh, pass and fail states, but your goal in each level is to collect some form of collectible and try to complete the game. Oh, and it's definitely going to be interesting trying to get a hold of the, uh, there we go. Yeah, I'm starting to get a hang of it already. I think I can do this. So, you have you have left and right, and you have space bar to jump. And I, I do know the fact that, uh, left and right, so left is, counter, is counterclockwise, right is clockwise, and that's always true no matter where you are on the globe, which makes it a little more manageable. You just have to keep it in your head. This is going to be interesting. Okay, right off the bat, I'm noticing Ashley Birch is, vo is voice acting the protagonist. I'm curious to see where Logan comes in. Alright, so they're teaching me uh, how to do this clerically cl uh, cl cl right now. Let's see, click and hold to move or right click to jump. Let's try left, let's try clicking. Oh, interesting. So you can actually click specifically on the screen and sort of guide your character, and they'll try to track where your mouse is currently clicked. I think I prefer the clockwise, uh, the clockwise counterclockwise mechanic specifically, though. I'm gonna stick with that. All right. So I'm not, I can't jump high enough to get there. So I'm, it must be possible to use. Yep, you can use the gravity from your planet to launch yourself and get further. Very effective. Okay. I'm sure this is gonna get more complicated as we go on too. So. These seem to be regular planets, but what are the Saturn look or Jupiter Jupiter with rings? What, what what does that planet do? Oh, oh, they bounce you. Okay, so now I need to figure out how to use a series of bouncing planets to reach a star. If I go between them, oh, got myself confused for the clockwise kind of clockwise. There we go. I'm trying to I'm trying to see if I can. Oh wait, if I go high enough, I can bounce off it from the top, probably, and reach the star. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Definitely gonna have to get a hold of the, uh... I, I guess this is actually an example of where it might come in handy to... left mouse click to control your controls... to control your character, because... Uh, in this sort of rough and tumble sort of situation, it gets a little more confusing trying to figure out exactly what to make of your, uh... your clockwise, counterclockwise controls. Here we go. I was overcomplicated things. I basically just had to jump off one of the side planets and go directly into the star. Just one quick trampoline bounce. I was trying to overthink it by doing crazy circular platforming. I'm thinking too much of a uh, auditorium in my head, which is a uh, one of the first sort of free-floating gravity-based pu puzzle games I've played. Very different, though. Not to, not to say that this one's ripping anything from that, because that's they are very different games. Okay, so. I should actually read this. Flowers make your hair longer. 
Hair lets you carry animal spirits. I suppose we'll learn what animal spirits are soon enough. Let's see if I can thread the needle here and go straight down the middle. Yep, there we go. So I'm, I did that with the, with the uh, mouse specifically because that would have been very confusing to do with left and right uh, to do with left and right uh, directional pads. I'm, no I'm noticing that left and right, or, or in my case A and D for WASD, are very handy for controlling movements around a planet, but a mouse definitely ha is more intuitive for being in midair is what I'm going to go with here. Okay. By the way, uh, you can pre-order this game. It's coming out on January 26th, which if this game go if this video goes up when I think it is, then that means that's going to be about a week from Tuesday. It's, I think I believe it's uh, ten dollars, but if you buy it early, it'll be thirty-three percent off for for uh, I'm sorry, it's fifteen dollars and it's thirty-three percent off down to ten dollars if you pre-order it. And I believe all copies of the game, I believe all copies of the game come with another free copy. So we ha just like we saw earlier with the fox. There appears to be a corpse here, or a skeleton of sorts, and we have the spirit of the of the. Uh, okay, so it's mimic. There's a spirit of the rabbit, and it's mimicking my motions. So obviously, I'm going to want to see how I can trick it into coming straight at me. Looks like it makes no particular movement of any kind, except exactly when I press it. So if I angle like this, we might jump directly into each other. Oh, I missed. Okay, let's try slingshotting a bit. This might be difficult. This is a way of thinking. This is going to involve a way of thinking that I don't often have to process. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Animal spirit, come back. Come back. Oh, there we go. Look how close you are to me now. Now, if only I could trick you to come a little bit closer. Uh-oh. Come here. Yes. Okay, so we abs so what happens is uh the animal spirit follows my commands precisely, even if it, my character doesn't quite fit. So what I did is I, I did a small jump. The animal spirit lost lost uh, orbit a little more than I did, and I just let it uh, go further. I guided it towards me using the mouse while my character was mostly stationary. <laughs> Worked perfectly. Welcome to the afterlife. Here is your hug. Well, that's adorable. Oh, it's it's gonna make my hair longer. Oh God, I didn't I did not <laughs> I did not plan for the sheer number of uh of, of uh, flowers that were gonna be in space. Okay, goodness me, I have not mastered the mechanics clearly. <laughs> All right, let's try to flow around in a circle. And I can cut them. There we go. Funnily enough, uh, there's so much. I keep looking at all the, all the all the different beautiful moving parts on the screen that I'm losing track of my own mouse because I keep looking away from it to see other things. Okay, I need to get a proper feeling. Oh, I must get every flower. Every flower must be mine. So pretty. Oh man, I had a long day today. I just finished a. I just finished defeating my most hated character in all of Dark Souls 2. So. When I, got, when I got this email about a, oh, a nice, mellow, relaxing game in the mail. Oh, goodness me, I'm, I'd be happy to play that. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I'm enjoying this as a cool down. I am missing so poorly. <laughs> I'm making an art of missing this star right now. Let's try to go straight for it. Oh, let's fall straight down. There we go. Once you build up enough gravity going up and down like that, sooner or later you got to be able to catch it. <laughs> I'm always embarrassingly bad at games when I'm new at them. Ugh, this is so great. My parents never let me have a treehouse. They never let me hunt these woods, neither. But here we are. <laughs> Tell her you, poacher. Me? Nah. I just like to sleep under the stars with a rifle and shoot things to sell. Hey, want some ham? <laughs> what did I tell you? You can't bring food up here. Why not? You never know what a wild animal is capable of. And mark my words, food will bring them nothing, even all the way up here. Okay. There's a good lass. Safety for... <laughs> oh, blast it! My good thumb! <laughs> So many questions, such as, what constitutes a bad thumb? 
So that was actually a really quick level where you just got the skeleton resolved. So we have, we can choose planets and motions or bowling for stars. We have a first forking path here. And Heavy Heart has a some sort of glowing spinning gem over it. So I believe that must be the end of the world. I mean this, by which I mean this world, as in like this se se world being the name for a sequence of stages, not a planet. That'd be a weird thing to say in space. <laughs> in a place, oh, we have floating asteroids. Uh oh, though this is where things get batty. All right, so, I'm very careful. I can jump ahead of time and sort of, oh, there we go. I won't say that I'm, <laughs> I won't say that I'm necessarily developing a method, but oh my, ooh. Oh, that's interesting. So, there's so much gravitational forces moving around in the middle of the screen that you could probably just clear this entire level by by jumping straight through the middle very, very quickly. Or you could get stuck between two planets like I just did and completely kill the momentum that I was talking about. Moving? Yes! That's fun. This is a relax- this is a very- it's almost empowering. You just need to be able to move around through space like that. Alright, spinning star. I'm sure I'll be fine. Ooh. So, in the middle, we just have a sequence of planets. Is there anything stopping me from just hopping straight into it? Does not appear to be so. Oh! There's a bunch of, uh, flowers everywhere. That's my incentive to that's my incentive to explore more, is to find these. Oh, okay, this, by the way, I have an ungodly long, uh, t hair, hair, oh my god. Yeah, my hair just kind of continues infinitely. I wonder if my hair length is going to reset every time I enter a new, uh, series of stages, because otherwise this is going to be seemingly infinite. Alright, here we go. I'm digging the uh, all the hand-drawn and painted looking backgrounds for sure. Things have gotten a little silent, though. Ooh, there's an animal spirit. Animal spirit, why won't you love me? Come back here and love me. So d do you mirror my movements too, animal spirit? Or do they all do that? Well, you were easy to catch. <laughs> Okay, so, somewhere, I believe that's going to be a regular repeating mechanic then, it's just, there's just going to be animal spirits all over the place. What is this crazy, we have a crazy pattern going around this loop-de-loop, -loop. oh there it is, found it, there's a, uh, there's a specific asteroid, there we go, that's kind of going around in circles. In fact, I believe if I hang out on this asteroid for a while, I'd, I'll probably collect every single flower just automatically. I almost messed it up by spinning too much. <laughs> I just thought if I maintained spinning, it'd be a fun little sight. And I am mostly right, I believe. This is pleasant. Just gonna wait this one out. Yeah. I could stress myself out by jumping everywhere, or I could just hang out and collect them all at my leisure. I have an animal spirit, though. Where are the animal remains is what I'm wondering. Or, or do, I do I collect them in one level and take them to another one? Is what Maybe that's the thing. Yeah, I don't see any bones around here. Okay, let's progress further and see what I find. I wouldn't be surprised if you're supposed to find the animal spirit in one area, but you find its remains. Oh, question answered. There's clearly bones over here, so if I take it from one world and then bring it over there, so you, you take it from uh, Star Arena and you bring it into Terrarium, which I have to, I have to do Bowling for Stars first, but you make the loop, and you must, you must get something for bringing the animal around. Per even Perhaps that's actually a, a, some gated progress, too. Let's see, is there anything around? Oh, they break. That's interesting. That was probably supposed to be a challenge that I uh, had to deal with, but I, so I was so cautious that nothing broke when I was coming in. So now it's just kind of something fun I can do now. Everything must break. Oh, you didn't break. There we go. There we go. That's the destruction that I'm looking for, as a hot-blooded American male, or whatever the hell. Yeah, I, I didn't convince myself either when I said that. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, hot-blooded American male playing this game. <laughs> okay, I have... I'm specifically having troubles with that one, aren't I? Come on. Oh, I keep just barely missing. I can do this! I've been training my entire life! There we go. There's prob there was no reason to do that. <laughs> Except self gratific self gratification, the best reason. Terrarium. All right, let's find the remains of this animal. Oh, there it is. So we have a series. Oh, that's why they did that. They showed us that mechanic because here we have 
a whole bunch of breakable cases. So, what, if I jump straight at it, is it going to break? Oh, I've, I missed. That could be problematic. Let's try to break the, the remains first. There we go. Is it a badger? You look like a cuddler. Ooh, oh, where are you going? Oh, he's giving me presents. I somehow forgot about the presents part. Oh wow, he took a very specific path around this area. That's gonna be difficult to duplicate if I want all of those. Wow, okay, okay. Oh, I'm gonna be here for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh no, oh no, okay, I can do this. I can do this, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, oh, I almost got it. I almost got the perfect trajectory to collect them all. Here we go. Oh, I'm learning from Honey Badger. Honey Badger teaches lessons of life. I will no longer be Crocodile Brain. These are way too many references to a specific channel that no one else is potentially watching, or all of you, I don't know. <laughs> previously recorded streams, I watched too many of them. Here we go. Also, that does not mean previously recorded, like the word, they called it that for some reason. Yeah. I'm confusing you. Get over it. <laughs> oh, I need to have all the hair. This character's gonna this character's gonna become more powerful than Bayonetta. Is what's gonna happen here. I'm having This is interesting. Okay, right through the middle. Oh! Almost almost got all of them right there. It's very interesting trying to control your gravity in this in this uh particular situation because uh the one Oh man. Come on. The one central main of piece of gravity here is hanging out here by this door, of course. So I'm kind of free. F I'm trying to free float in the proximity of a door. Come on, get the this one's the hard one. This is the one I keep missing. I need them all. They're like rings in Sonic. It doesn't matter if I if I only need if I only need one to survive. I need to have them all. It's for me. <laughs> oh, this moment of truth. I have to bounce around it, I believe, in a circle. Gain some gravity, and then come shooting through the stars! Like a hero! On a flaming motorcycle, I guess. Is apparently where my mind went with that! Oh, no. And, and let's, let's try to cut deeper first. Oh, this guy's gonna be a problem, isn't he? I need to cut deep. So I can launch myself high. And soar like an eagle through the heavens, or something. I am specifically losing momentum every time I go in that direction, aren't I? <laughs> let's try this. Alright. Go as far as possible. Please go up. Nope. It's almost like there's an invisible wall or something. But there shouldn't be, because of course there's a flower there. Weird, yeah. It's like I'm cutting off. I wonder why that's happening. Ooh, I wonder if I can keep slowly snaking higher. Okay, nope. I think I'm gonna move on. <laughs> I think that's enough time spent trying to gather one little piece. His name is Voy. This cat is ugly. Come here, ugly cat. Look at me. I'm a rich lady. It's okay, he's friendly. Pepper, go inside. Aww. Is this about the fox? He could have killed her! But he wouldn't have. He is a wild animal! Go to your room right now! Why? You're not mom. No. Mom is gone. Because of your stupid boyfriend! I'm sorry. Go to your room and stay there until I know what to do with you. You go to your room too. Wherever that is. You dare chastise Fox? Fox doesn't have to listen to you. Fox is his own man. With a tail, I guess. Ooh, this goes further down. So we unlocked something by getting to the star with the gem there, I believe. There's some sort of progression there. But down here, we clearly see it keeps going further and further. Okay, 
then I believe it makes sense to do bubble bounce first, because I, I love to be all completionist about things and and fill in as much as I can in the immediate area before I try to go elsewhere. Here we go. Oh my god, this is gonna be fun. Yee, it's like it's like breaking bubble wrap. And so, except some of it's made possibly made of glass. Glassy bubble wrap. Buy it for your kids. Now your local Toys R Us. And other places where people don't love their children, I guess. <laughs> this, my hair is out of control. Okay, so, I wonder what the relationship is between this character specifically, and what we're seeing with the story pieces, because we're seeing people hanging out at a farm, and very, am I, am I gonna get everything except for the star very, right off the bat? <laughs> is that really, that's the issue I'm gonna have here? This is, I will say, I alternate between the two control schemes a lot, and I'm, I'm, I keep finding, I'm kind of finding a happy medium between the two of them. Although I will say I've neglected the, uh, do, the uh, WASD type controls a little too much, because now I'm, I get a little awkward trying to figure out which one's which. There we go. Basic bouncing. Here we go. How many, f I have a, quite the number of leaves in my hair. This poor little girl, she needs a comb. She has all the, she has access to all the, the galaxies and universes in, I almost said in the world, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but she, but she can't find basic hair utensils. Not sure if utensils is the right word for something that goes in your hair. Free the, free, free the gome. It's pulled towards you. Ooh, it's a maze. Okie dokie. I believe I have this one figured out. So... We're going to have to make it go down, so I have to go to the opposite side next. Here we go, this is exactly what I was wondering is... I was, I was kind of, I was waiting for a new mechanic to show up, and here we have it. Another new mechanic. I did it! Do you love me now? Whee! Uh... Hit! Hit! I can't do it. <laughs> Gonna have to get some momentum. Yeah! Oh, there's a star over there. I didn't even see that. <laughs> there we go. Hold down for heavy mode. Let go... Uh, let go to fall normally. Alright, heavy mode. Vroomp! Oh, that's so I'm unlocking new powers, new gravity powers. There we go. There's the sense of empowerment that I could use. Get a series of new powers to give me more and more abilities while I'm flying through the gravity space, which is not a sentence that made sense, but that's nothing new. So we're surrounded by by the glass globes. I wonder, do they have? Oh, they do have their own gravity. Interesting. So if I go outwards, nope. Careful. Nope, I'm trying to latch onto the next the next layer. What if I go this way? There we go. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh god. <laughs> Let's try Okay, okay, it's a little hard. It's a little hard to make it to the next layer. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> I'm a monster. Okay, fine. If that's the way you wanted to play it. Yeah, stars star achieved. It's fine. I'll just drop down. There we go. That'll help me uh, get back on on the ground whenever I launch too far away now, without having to try to aim backwards. The Salamander Garden. I am having fun. What are you? I mean, besides the salamander, of course. Friend? 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 Go okay, I got it. Whoa, Nelly, you really startled me. What are you supposed to be? I think I'm a ghost now. Oh, I'm a guardian, one of seven. Yep. Together we protect the. Uh, uh oh. Then there used to be a huge planet around here. Never mind, I can fix this. Um. Okay, bad news first. The planet exploded. Black hole situation. But the good news is you. You can uh, uh, collect the pieces of the planet. Yes, yes, this will work. And put them back where they belong. You want me to collect pieces? Correct. Uh, there might even be survivors. Have you seen a ghost fox? Not if he came by during my nap. You are really bad at this. Yes. I love that. You are really bad at this. Yes, I'm sleeping now. <laughs> I am resigned to being bad at my job. So, he was supposed to be the guardian of a planet, but then failed to protect said planet. And now, 
A black hole problem has ruined everything. Terrible salamander is terrible at job. But we have a, we have a tree we can plant somewhere. So I believe we're going we're gonna to take it with us. Ooh, the black hole. That must be where we're going for then. This didn't turn out very well in Interstellar. Oh, hello animals. So, oh, okay. So there's a different guardian for every area. That was the salamander guardian. So the la the we the meeting the salamander, salamander was the last thing we did. But now we're probably going to meet each of these different guardian animals the moment we enter their realms, and we'll have to solve their individual problems. So, salamander, mouse, deer, hawk, or some variation of pred predatory bird, I believe. Rabbit, wolf, and dog. Let's go into the black hole and see what happens. And he was never seen again. Ooh. I just want to enjoy this little moment we're having here. Do I have to keep playing? Do I have to go like do things? Cause I, I, I kind of just want to stay here. This this could be my new screensaver. <laughs> What's it called? ESMR or something like that? Those like those things you just do to have people go to sleep? Like just have this on loop with this music playing and just hang out. Loop it for like three hours. You'll probably be asleep by then, right? Effective. Alright, let's do something. Okay, so this must be what I've accomplished so far. There's the animals we saved so far, and that's the old man we saw in the visions. So this must be the kid that all those cutscenes are about. That must be the character we're playing as. And it would have, and she seems to think that she's dead. Oh, there's a star. And now it's mine. You can't have it, old man. It's mine. Can I talk to you? Up, down, up, down, left, right. B, A, start. Nope. How about you? Do you have anything to say to me? So there's no direct interaction yet. As far as I can tell. They're just kind of here. But clearly, I've accomplished everything I can. Because there's two planetoids and they both have those on them so I wonder as I progress the other ones must fill in over time so based on what we're seeing there must be one two three four five six seven planets yes okay so I think this is a good place to end part one guys thanks for watching like always uh, this once again is gravity ghost by Ivy games you can find it on Steam it's a uh, if you're buying it if you pre-order it you'll get it for ten dollars instead of fifteen and if you get a copy of it you can send a copy to a friend of yours they said that they want you to send it to uh, the friend that you like the most I'm not I mean, someone that's special to you and I believe I have the uh, hang on a second here I believe I have their elevator pitch they wanted to put give in here Gravity Ghost is a physics game with a twist run jump and soar around planets using gravity to glide through the air. Explore a shattered galaxy and rescue its survivors, armed with power-ups and mysterious terraforming powers. Meet the seven magical guardians and best their challenges. There's no killing, no dying, and no way to fail. Just hours of blissing out to buttery smooth gravity goodness. Featuring a dynamic new soundtrack from the composer of FTL, Faster Than Light, Gravity Ghost is a head-first dive into another world. You can pre-order it now on Steam, and it'll be coming out on January 26th. Thanks for watching guys like always, and I'll see you next time.